Okay, now let's see this case, magnesium with uh, copper sulfate. Eh? Let me explain to you, okay, what does this diagram mean, eh? okay? Now this diagram shows, okay, you see the, the phase, okay, this is set phase, right, okay? When it's set phase means that it's uh, not stable. So this magnesium, okay, is set because it's not stable. Uh, then this uh, copper ion, eh? copper sulfate, okay, consists of a copper ion and sulfate ion. Okay, now these two, these couples are happy, okay, because they are stable. So the copper ions and the sulfate ions, eh? they are happy because they are stable. If this magnesium, it meet this couple here, okay? So this magnesium is not stable, so he want to, so uh, he want to throw away his electron, okay? Uh, and then he's stronger than this uh, copper ion, so then uh, he can successfully do this. And uh, then, then what happened is that he can kick this copper ion out, and then he will form the ion, uh, the metal ions. Uh, this, this sulfate, uh, doesn't matter, okay? So whether it's a uh, copper or magnesium, it doesn't matter, okay? So so it still stay happy, okay? So after this magnesium kick out this copper, okay, this copper become unstable. It's uh, not happy anymore. So that is what happened in a displacement reactions, displacement reactions. Huh? A stronger or more reactive or a more electropositive metal kick out. A metal ion which is less reactive or less electropositive. For displacements of metals, there are a few things that you need to know. First, you must know how to write the half equations. The half equations. Now, the half equations only involve the metal and the metal ions, and it does not involve the uh, the negative ions. So let's see the the half equation for the magnes for magnesium first. Okay, magnesium. So before the reaction is a magnesium metal, and after the reaction it becomes magnesium ion. So can any of you tell me is this equation balanced or not balanced? Not balanced, eh? okay? Why not balanced? Because the charge is not balanced, right? The charge is not balanced. Eh? Uh, if the charge is not balanced, then uh, what can we do to make it balanced? Any idea? What can we do to make it balanced? Add electron, that's right. Okay, we add electrons. Huh? Okay, now in this case, where should we add the electrons? Left or right? Left or right of these uh, equations. Where should we add the electrons? Right. Huh? Okay, we should add two electrons at the right hand side because the uh, electron carry negative charge. Huh? So two electrons, negative two plus positive two, then the sum of the charge is zero. Huh? And on the left hand side, the sum of the charge is also zero. Right? So this is the half equations for the reactions of magnesium. And then how about copper? Copper. Now before the reaction is copper ion. Eh? Copper ion. So it's a Cu. Cu. Two positive. Okay. And after the reaction, then it become a uh, copper metal. Cu. Eh? Okay. Become, become copper metal here. Uh, this one also not stable, and uh, not stable, then we need to uh, add electron uh, to make it stable. And this time, the electron need to be added to the left-hand side. Uh, add electron to the left-hand side, so that the sum of the charge is zero here, and the sum of the charge is zero here. Uh, then, these two are the half equations. These two are the half equations for the reactions. And uh, after we have the half equations, then uh, we need to write the ionic equation. Uh, Ionic equations. Okay, now how to write the ionic equations? To write the ionic equations, we combine these two. Okay, combine these two. Uh, okay, now when we combine these two, can we just combine it st uh, straight away, or what should we do? If we want to combine these two to form the ionic equations, uh, yes, balance the uh, electron. Uh, make sure that the electrons on the left hand side equal to the electrons on the right hand side. Now this one is already balanced. Huh? We have two electrons on the left hand side and two electrons on the right hand side, right? Okay, so uh, then now we can straight away combine these two uh, half equations to make it ionic equation Mg plus Cu2 positive. Now don't need to include the electron huh? because it's already cancelled off. And then uh, on the right hand side we have magnesium ion and copper metal. Okay, so we have the uh, half equation and then we have the ionic equations. So that is how we write the half equation ionic equation. It's important for you to know this, eh? okay? Because this may be asked in exam. Eh? Okay, so make make sure that you know how to write the half equations and the ionic equations. 
sometimes uh, they may ask you to give observations it depends okay sometimes they may ask you to give and sometimes they may not give you to uh, may ask you to give observations and uh, you can predict uh, the observations from the chemical equations chemical equations uh. first uh, you need to check the color of the solutions uh, to see any change of the colors of the solutions what's the colors of copper sulfate solutions blue okay Cindy say it's blue okay yes that's correct uh. copper sulfate solution is blue uh. it's blue then how about magnesium sulfate what's the colors of magnesium sulfate solution Cindy say is uh, colorless so do you agree with her Yes, uh, okay, yes, it's colorless. So then the, uh, the observation will be the blue colors of copper sulfate solutions become colorless. Huh? Okay, that is one of the uh, observations. Huh? The blue color of the copper sulfate solutions become colorless. So that is one of the observations. So you see, uh, we predict the observations from the chemical equations eh? okay to see any change of the color then how about this uh, copper metal what's the colors of this copper metal brown okay brown eh? so a brown precipitate or brown solid eh? formed uh, brown precipitate is formed uh, then how about magnesium? Huh? Magnesium. Magnesium is uh, the color is a uh, silvery gray, or or you can straight away tell uh, magnesium powder dissolve in the solutions. Huh? Okay, you can say the magnesium powder dissolve in the solutions. Uh, that is because uh, before the reaction is a metal, magnesium metal, uh, and after reaction they become a solutions. Huh? Okay, it become a solution so from solid it will dissolve into the solutions eh? so the magnesium powder dissolve in the solution so that uh, these are the observations eh? the possible observations so we write the obs observations based on the chemical equations eh? uh, the last thing eh, they may ask you is uh, which one is the oxidizing agent and which one is the reducing agent which one is the oxidizing agent and which one is the reducing agent Talk about the oxidizing agent first. Which one is oxidizing agent? So always remember the metal ion uh, is the oxidizing agent. Uh, okay, or you can see the change of the uh, oxidation number. Copper ion positive two after reaction it becomes zero. So from positive two to zero it undergoes reductions, right? So therefore it's the oxidizing agent. Uh. So is uh, the oxidizing agent is the copper two ion. Uh. You can write Cu2 positive or you can write uh, copper 2 ion. And the reducing agent is the magnesium. Uh, huh? The magnesium. Uh. 